What's going on chicken nuggets and welcome to Aston Martin of Bristol. And today we're going to be with three phenomenal V12 Aston Martin cars. I'm delighted to be joined by Mr. Seen Through Glass and also racing driver Mr. Ryan Cullen. And we're going to take these cars to three different locations around the Bristol area with Aston Martin Bristol. And we're going to put them through their paces, see what they're all about. And at the end of the day, we're going to have a race which of course Ryan should win, being the racing car driver, but I got a sneaky suspicion Sam and I are gonna give him a bit of a run for his money. So let's see how we go. So we've got three amazing V12 cars. Yes, my uh, decisions have changed, my opinion has changed from when I left my house to when I got here. Because originally it was the DB11, because I haven't experienced one yet. Then I found out it was a Vanquish S, which I haven't experienced that yet. Mm. And then I found out it was a manual V12 Vantage yeah. S. One of so, five, I think, in the UK? Yeah, yeah. I mean, minimal numbers. Me, the Vanquish S. Yeah, Vanquish S. Just by looks. The Vanquish S, whoa, oh. that is so sexy. <laughs> but the quick, why are we not all saying DB11? It's the newest, yeah. why are we not? Because the Vanquish S. Yeah, the Vanquish S is the one. I, I would agree. Well, Aston make great, great looking cars. They make great sounding cars. It'd be interesting to see how differently they drive as well. Because I've heard amazing things about the DB11, so maybe it's just not pulling us in on looks, but maybe when we drive it, we'll pull it along. Yeah. yeah you, the other two are much more analog and, and yeah. particularly the manual. Advantage. Advantage. Oh, that's going to yeah. be. That car's 10 years old now, but in that lineup, it still looks mega. Yeah, it does, mega. right. And the sound is going to knock your socks off. Yeah, yeah, it's just exhausting. Amazing. I don't want to drive anything, I just want to stand behind you as you all drive <laughs> well, this is a bit embarrassing. Where's the part brake? Where's, Where's the brake, or does it go off automatic? Your handbrake. Yeah. Okay. To, to, lift to it. take off, you push it in. Okay. Okay. Cool. The bridge we went under was the Clifton Suspension Bridge. It's built by Isambard Kingdom Brunel, a very brilliant engineer who also built this boat on the right hand side, this ship, which was the first iron hulled steamship to cross the Atlantic. It's like, being, uh, it's like having Wikipedia read out to me. <laughs> Guys, what an epic drive that's got to be up there with Route de Napoleon. Route de Napoleon. Um, the Stelvio Pass. Well, just for, this, just for this view when we get here, like the, the destination. Well, the destination Sometimes good. does make a drive. The drive wasn't great. It was kind of through Bristol City Centre. Yeah. It wasn't great, but I promise where we're going now is going to be amazing. Okay. It's going to knock your socks off. Countryside, good roads, lovely curves. Because so the thing is though, however, I did get to take advantage of the sound of this banquet. Ah. Because at slow speed, you just go through the revs, you get all the yeah, gargles and... All I heard was this V12 yeah. thing going off. <laughs> Did you just hear him accelerating? 10, 20, 10, 20. <laughs> well, you know, it's trying to get used to everything with the car. But I thought like... racing car drivers jump in, jump in any single car and drive it like a god straight away. All right, I'm going <laughs> to remember what, that's you that's said good. that because when you drive this car, you're not going to be all day. I can't drive this, give me back the other we'll car. We'll be reversing him in to do yeah. a photo and he'll go flying yeah. forward. I'll you'll tell you what, <laughs> give me that car now. I'm going to drive it in the countryside. Yeah, we're going to stop. You, you're going to have to swap the tail, otherwise this isn't going to work. Okay, so but I'm right. going to drive this now, I'm going to take you up on that challenge. Okay, I'm so blasé, I leave the keys in my car, so... <laughs> <laughs> so what am I doing? I'm going DB11 or...? You? I think you go DB11, so we do an equal right. swap. Yeah. Yeah. I need a key. Uh, it's in the car, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> First impressions, I've gone from the polar opposite, brand new, state-of-the-art DB11, to this very analog V12 manual Vantage. First impressions, undoubtedly, was the noise when I started the car up. Oh, that noise is amazing. <laughs> and my rear view mirror, I've got the beautiful Vanquish S just staring down at me. Is a very ugly driver in it which is ruining a little bit but a beautiful car so it kind of yin yang the balance is right
driving this car for me is what an Aston Martin should be. It's got everything. It's got the craftsmanship. It's got the feel. It's got the performance. It's got the looks, and it's got the noise. It's it really is a very special car. I am more surprised about the V12 Vantage than any other car that I've driven today. The DB11, I'm sure I've spent time in it before. And I'll be very interested to find out about the, uh, the Vanquish S, but it's gonna be a good car to top this, I can tell you. This is phenomenal, very, very impressive. I was just wondering uh, if anyone knew why this was called Cheddar Gorge. Well, it's where the cheese is from and it was actually carved out of cheese. That's what we thought, we just didn't want to jump to conclusions. What did the uh, cheese say when it looked in the mirror? Hello, me! What cheese do you use to describe the small horse? Mascarpone! What cheese do you use to entice the bear out of wood? Come on, bear! Fellas, what did I tell you about this drive? What do you think? Yeah. How was it? Yeah, this this place, amazing. Yeah, I mean, I grew up around here, so it's pretty special. Stuff. All right, yeah, 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 no need to show off. <laughs> <laughs> and we had the history lesson that the gorge was carved out of cheddar cheese. Yeah, so yeah, you thank can you. see it actually. Uh, forget the cheese. Talk to us, Ryan. What was it like? I mean, like it looks amazing and it drives phenomenal so can i say it sounds amazing oh, following I was your sound points that. sounded fantastic mm. yeah. but talking but, of good sounds but. there's a very nice tenuous link to tell you about this mm. that i've just fallen in love with the green monster oh I think, my goodness I, I think i've fallen in love with it and i still haven't driven it yet <laughs> yeah. it's, it's blown me away it's, yeah. it's really knocked my socks off how good a driver's car this is a really special car to drive it sounds rawer than the vanquish does that make any sense like it's a more brutal sound from behind mm. the, the, uh, the manual gearbox is actually pretty good manual gearbox is amazing pretty good it's amazing <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even, even when you stole it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i stole it once <laughs> i stole it once <laughs> tell us sam db11 didn't seem to didn't, we didn't hear it. We didn't. Oh, well, I, the thing is, this is a GT car. This is your everyday Aston. That's what I've learned. These two, special occasion. This definitely special occasion Aston. This is the car you could use it to pick up your kids. You could go to the food shop. Mm. You could take it on a long trip to France. And then when you need it to, it comes alive. On a road like this, it comes alive. Did it come alive though? It looked, don't get me wrong, it looks, the presence that car has is Were amazing. Were you inside it? Take no. us, take, take us. That's I got, the thing, get I got inside. I got a shotgun, I got a shotgun, you're I'll in the back. Because okay. this is a two plus two, so this, right. we should have plenty of room for this. This car is all about sport plus mode on a road like this. <laughs> How's it in the back, Ryan? Not the biggest guy, <laughs> so you know, it's pretty cool. It's nice in here though, isn't it? Wow, yeah, yeah, this, is, this is nice. It's That's, really yeah, like, you yeah. know, Can super... I put the seat back a bit, please? No, <laughs> <laughs> so different in terms of interior compared to the other two. Well, this is this is so modern and new. Look oh, at it, everything about this I car. I think I've fallen in love now. Really? This is it. You're happy now. I'm happy. It does sound good. When you're inside, but the problem is you lose the sound when you've got that those two V12 monsters. But can we can we remind ourselves that this is now twin turbocharged? Yes. Mm. Like for a turbocharged car, this thing sounds yeah. mega. Goats on the road. Goats on the road. The thing, the problem for me. To do. No. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Somerset. <laughs> you, this is too subtle for me. Not subtle. Too supple for me. This car. It's not enough of an occasion. Um, but the fact that you can still come and have some fun on a road like this, I think is. How much? How much? One hundred and sixty thousand. But what you're getting for the money, I think, with the interior awesome. and everything, is stunning. Yeah. Yeah. So the home of the cheese was all done and dusted and it was time to head off to our third and final stop, which was the Grand Pier at Western Super Mare. But I didn't quite explain to the guys exactly what we'll be doing when we got there. <laughs> oh, the sound of this thing is gargling away, it's mad. What was everyone saying? He's 
held the road up for you, you could probably slot in behind me. Oh, okay, is it is it clear? Any traffic coming? Yeah. Fine. Yeah, go, go, quick. How does that feel? Sick! <laughs> This is one of the crazier things I've ever done. So welcome to Western Supermare, the Grand Pier Western Supermare, no end. Uh, with three cars on it. I know, how about mm. that? But Ryan, I have to say, you're taking this race a little seriously with the it's whole It's got me nuts. He had just appeared out of his car like that. I thought maybe he's been wearing that every time he gets in the car. Yeah, of course. Just but been changing. I've been told there's a race, so I'm ready. Yeah. Do you know what the race is? It's not on the donkeys at Western Supermare. The race is, uh, well, we'll show you. We'll show you. We'll, we're yeah. going to show you right now. I hear it's a surprise, so that's why I'm ready. <laughs> I'm, always ready. <laughs> I'm always ready. I'm always ready. I'm not ready. First, gentlemen. Yeah. You've tried all three cars. All, three different locations, three different cars, and three quite different people actually. Yeah. You got the intelligent ones. <laughs> you got the, <laughs> you got the good looking ones. <laughs> no, so what do you think? What's what? What's the? Is there a clear standout winner with you guys? For me, yes. Go but, on. Please, okay, so wait, please uh, elaborate. Can we, can we not? Can we not go three, two, one, and each of us all say at the same time our favorite cars? Okay. Hang Just on. Hang see. on. Hang Come on. on. So then we can explain it. Favorite car for what though? Because this is your favourite car. You have day. to you have of to leave day. with one right now. Okay. Of you have the day. to leave. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to leave with one car. Just to one drive. Car. Okay. No, this is it. To drive. We're not doing it because I'm driving the V12 Vantage just back. <laughs> but <laughs> who's driving what back? Come on. Three, two, one. You ready? Three, Three two, two, one. V12 Vantage. vantage. Oh. What did you say? Vanquish. Vanquish. Yeah. I'm, so I'm we're two Vantage. <laughs> okay. Vanquish. You're quite an old man, aren't you? I just think when you get that car into the paddle shifts and everything, it just comes alive. The only thing I'd say with the Vanquish is that I like the interior from the DB11. Yeah, but don't forget the Vanquish is okay. a little bit old now. It's yeah. going to be replaced very soon. Exactly, so. it's going to be updated. That's an mm. old panel and everything like that. And also, I feel like it adds that kind of Aston flavor. Mm. It's still very Aston. It's very Everything Aston, about isn't it? it? Yeah. And you sort of forgive the fact that it's got a slightly dated panel because it's just such an awesome experience. It's a bit like me. It's slightly dated, but a very good experience. <laughs> <laughs> so do you know what? Does it say about us that we're having young life crises uh, that we picked the green, <laughs> tiny, shouty sports car? For yeah. me, for sure, I midlife mean, crisis, like, absolutely. But for yeah. you, you can, you can pull it off. For just sure. about with my boy. Head or bald head, but uh, yeah. DB11 guys, come on! This is a beautiful car, very competent. It's funny that none of us picked that. Yeah, mm. but it is the softest car here. It's yeah. the softest car here, and I don't know if any of us are into soft GT cars, are we? Nah, for me, if you're going to get the car, you want to you want to get the loudest, most aggressive. It's, it's yeah. an animal yeah. all the time, the whole time. The V12 Vantage yeah. is an animal. Yeah, so driving wise, but looks wise, still for me the Vanquish. Yeah, I know. I'd look. I'm there. Don't get me wrong. The Vanquish <laughs> yeah. is, is. If the Vanquish performed like the Vantage, I think yeah. that'd be the perfect scenario. Yeah. You know what it is? The manual. It's that manual gearbox. Yeah. 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 That yeah. seven-speed yeah. manual gearbox. That's what Super it is. Super involving. It's a shame no one chose a DB11. It is a shame that, but I, I, th I, say, I think it says more about us as people and the occasion because it's beautiful sunshine. We've got these cars for one day. You want to mm. have a hoon. Whilst DB11 is an everyday. If we were car. going on a three or four day trip up to Scotland, mm. I think we'd all have fallen in love with the DB11 yeah. because of what it, the breadth of capability. Mm. But just for today, um, we've all enjoyed yeah getting in something shouty. So time to have a race and time to see who the best driver really is. Driver of what? What we're we driving. Wait and see. Fast. 0 to 60, in fact it doesn't do 0 to 60, <laughs> <laughs> but come and see. So thank you so much to Ryan Cullen, Seen Through Glass, of course Aston Martin Bristol for making this happen. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, we've got some really good stuff coming along and give us a cheeky like as well. Thanks for watching the video.